What's going on guys? So today I just got in our very first 2025 Forest River Vibe and I've been excited to get this one in for a few different reasons. If you go back on our channel history, one of my very first videos that I uploaded was of a Forest River Vibe, a model 2021 if I'm not mistaken. So the changes these things have taken over the few years is just absolutely amazing. Very large windows, heated holding tanks, tankless water heater and just several other really good build quality features that i think you guys are really gonna like i honestly think this is more like a a brinkley on a diet but i'm excited to show it to you guys so let's get started So we are going to start by going over a few of the numbers because if you pull the vibe up online all the specs are listed as to be determined so i want you guys to be able to see exactly what you have here in front of you so let's take a look at some of the numbers before we make our way inside and then we'll come back out and go over a few things total length so tip to tip is 34 feet long dry weight as it currently sits is 6964 pounds coming around over here you've got right at 958 pounds of available cargo capacity and your GVWR gross vehicle weight rating is 7,960 pounds. But we are gonna start on the inside and go over a few features there and then step back out, touching on a few other things here. But the build quality for the Vibe is just absolutely unreal. Vacuum bonded sidewalls, pre-tinted windows, heated holding tanks, several really great features. This one's gonna be a 50 amp coach with two air conditioners already installed. 84 inch ceiling height. You've got one total slide on board. And right here in your kitchen, I do believe you got right at probably 14, maybe 15 feet of walking space. Really, really open concept. I like what they've done this year with the new furniture colors, especially this accent wall over here. That's rather nice as well. Notice the 50, excuse me, the 30 inch electric fireplace over there really really big windows and all the curtains this year are kind of different as well typically you'd have the black pull down shades which in the rv market several years ago those were like only found on higher end coaches but now the black roller shades are pretty much standard on everything this is more of a white cloth material it's got a kind of a reflective back to it maybe to help reflect some of the light out of the coach Sleeper sofa, this does open up to about a full size bed and that's kind of an ottoman right there for you to maybe shift down in front of the table. So the table is completely changed and I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't quite understand the hydraulic strut under the table at the moment. I've taken this thing apart. I have inspected, tried to turn it into a bed. I was not able to successfully do so, but the table is on a hydraulic assist both of these will undo and you can push it down and lock it in place see if I can do this but the low capacity of the table is only 75 pounds so I'm, I'm not sure exactly if that's supposed to be turned into a bed or not there's no other material listed anywhere online for it your countertops are a thermofoil countertop which is just a hard heated plastic wrapped over the material I like the darker sink and especially the gold accent those are very nice this is also impressive check out your oven cooktop so you have three separate burners right here but down below you actually have an electric oven convection microwave that is very very nice while we're here let's look at some of your storage the cabinet doors are not solid wood this is a false material but it's very very hard very solid let's look at some of your it's stapled together, not going to be dovetailed. A decent amount of room back there for prepping. Got the pop-up outlet as well. This is kind of strange. I'm not understanding, but it looks like you have a little place. I call that a shoe garage, really. I'm not understanding why they want that there. 12 volt fridge. I do believe that's right at 12 cubic foot, and that's going to be your pantry inside some adjustable shelves would be very very nice in there as well so in your in your living room you got thomas paint collection furniture both of these are going to be recliners as well your slide box height you're a little limited there you i think you're right at five foot ten but i don't believe you're actually going to be standing anyway 
So your heat on board, you got two different sources. I pointed out the electric fireplace, but you do in fact have cabinet vents. You locate it throughout the RV, one there, one there. Coming from the 40,000 BTU furnace. And this will be your view if you're maybe enjoying television. I really do dig the darker accent wall, the way it contrasts throughout the RV. What do you guys think? So two different air conditioners on board. Both, one's a 15K, so don't let me misspeak. misspeak. One's a 15K, which is operated from this thermostat here. This one's racetracked all the way throughout the coach. So you'll have vents all the way throughout. And you'll also have a, an additional 13.5 air conditioner located in the, the bedroom there. So stepping inside your bathroom, plenty of room. You got a two-piece plastic shower, 84 inch ceiling height as well, but you've got right at about a 12 inch step up to get into the shower. Portion foot flush toilet, some additional shelving. The shower curtain's been a pretty <laughs> standard thing with Vibe. It's just the accordion style. Manufacturer claims there's a squeegee on the back side to assist it with drying when you close it. And this will be your prime perfect, your prime pooping position according to Matt. I think he would appreciate the bathroom in this one. Let me give you an idea on your shower though. I'm 6'2 with my, without my shoes on, 6'3 with my shoes. I think the dimensions of the shower are 36 by 30. So there's actually a decent amount of room in here. And all the controls for the hot water here, located right over here, temperatures upwards of 130 degrees. So the good thing about this, you can set your water temperature, let's say at 110, that's what you want. And you can come over to your faucet and only turn on the hot. Don't try to combat it back and forth with hot and cold water. The system does not work that way at all. Let's take a look at your bedroom. bedroom. So this bedroom's kind of nice. You've got washer and dryer connections already in here. Huge windows. Just look at that. That's that second 13.5 air conditioner I was referencing, but you also see the additional vents coming from the ceiling there. You got reading lights on both sides. So behind the closets, you have USB, USB-C, and 12 volt outlets. This is your closet. You got some additional pullouts as well. But coming around to the foot of the bed, you got TV connections. You have an additional closet, which can also act for your washer and dryer if you decide to do that. But if you didn't want the washer and dryer, you've got this pretty cool idea that they've come up with to hang your clothes, kind of keeps things out of the way. Or if you don't want to have that, you move it out of the way, go ahead and install your washer and dryer. The windows though are just absolutely huge. To be honest, I'm a big guy, but in the event of emergency, I would not have any problem escaping from this window these things are huge what do you guys think about the bigger windows is that something you like or dislike some people talk about more windows more heat so again if you'd like to view more additional photos be sure to check that link out found in the video description it'll take you over to our website so you can view the price the availability as well as more additional photos of each make and model that we carry if you happen to get to our website and this particular camper is no longer available. Reach out to me by the phone number or the email address. I can get this one coming or possibly already have another one on the way. We are just a very, very small dealership in the RV world. But a date and time of making this video, and maybe you can pause it and maybe you can pause it and read this in detail. MSRP is $56,058.45. And of course, our sales price is always found at that link in the video description. Coming back outside though, really big 20 foot awning. I love the new square windows compared to last year. Last year's model, as you can tell, are nowhere close to what they are this year. I do believe the new windows are by far one of my favorite features about the new Forest River Vibe. So 34 feet of total length. Again, that's tip to tip. You have some additional storage in the front with a pegboard material here so you can get creative and get a little organized with all of your stuff aluminum frame all the way throughout the rv vacuum bonded very very little wood your baggage door is about a half inch thick with slam latches you are also going to be stabilized from two sets of electric jacks these jacks both have their own independent switch 
and they will only go down till they feel about maybe 10 pounds of pressure before it completely cuts off. These are only going to stabilize the RV. Fully enclosed underbelly. You got a friction hinge on your entry door with the step above lipper component steps. Check out the spread of the axles. Extra wide spread for a much more smoother ride. And this is the outdoor fridge. They've actually taken away the hot griddle that used to come out on the side. That was something that I used to like. I guess it's something that's not working out well, so they decided to get rid of it. High point fridge and your doors also a half inch thick, but at least it got magnets now to hold everything back out of the way. That's going to be the exhaust for the furnace. Second set of jacks coming around to the back. LED lights all the way throughout. You are prepped to receive the Lippert component ladder. Blind side camera prepped as well. Get the 4x4 tube of the bumper. That's a good place to store your sewer line. Sewer connections, you've got two different ones. This back here will be gray. The main sewer connection will be all the way in the front. You've got a cable driven slide on the only slide available. That's the exhaust for the tankless water heater. Look at these windows, they're absolutely lovely. And that's what it looks like with the curtain down inside. So that additional tint plus the reflective surface on the back of the blinds will definitely keep it cool inside. That is the main sewer connection right there in front of the tire. And the pull handles are there and you got another one right over here. So the water management area, this is done nicely. Typically with a travel trailer, your water hose connects directly to the side of the RV plus a black tank flush. This gets more into like a fifth wheel style where you have your own little compartment for everything. Water lines will come up to the floor connecting to your city water connection or maybe the black tank flush or if you're dry camping. This is so you can winterize your RV. Outdoor shower, one tent outlet, and this is a solar charge controller. That's the 50 amp power cord right there. It's probably right at 20, 25 feet in length. Hitch weight, I'll be sure to leave it right about here in the video, but what do you guys think? I feel like, again, this is kind of like a Brinkley on a diet. Really good build quality. Overall, very, very nice floor plan compared to the old school model. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Continue to like and subscribe. Come see us.